what does the raspberry pi 5 and 3d arcade emulation give well element of response in this video since today we are going to focus on the atomis wave the atomis wave is a system that was a kind of arcade version of the dreamcast with really cool games on it. I'm thinking especially of Metal Slug 6. We're also thinking of Ken the Survivor and many other really cool games, some of which you might be able to discover in this video. Does the Atomus Wave run at 60 FPS with the Raspberry Pi 5? Here's the answer in pictures. Let's proceed and find out the truth. Quick preamble before letting the images take over. I remind you that this test will take place in three stages. First, we will launch a series of games on Raspberry Pi 4. Then we will continue with a wave of games on Raspberry Pi 5. And finally, we will launch the same games on Raspberry Pi 5, but with some small graphic optimizations. In all cases, we use Recalbox Vanilla without any modification or any type of overclocking or anything else. We genuinely capture the images from the Recalbox.com website. We write them onto the SD card and we attempt it in this manner. We just deactivate the shaders, the rewind and also the overlays to prevent any unnecessary memory or CPU usage overload in order to concentrate on being able to observe very attentively thanks to the counter that will show up in the top right corner. So you will have the ability to quickly determine at first glance if it operates at 60 frames per second or not. Presenting the Atomus Wave test on Recalbox with the renowned Raspberry Pi 5. Let's dive in and see how it performs. We are building. Decide the destiny. Oh, <laughs> 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 
we deduce from this onslaught of tests? From an initial perspective, we can confidently state that the Raspberry Pi 4 did not perform poorly when it came to emulating the Atomus Wave arcade system.
For purists, it was not sufficient. But for the average individual, despite the presence of numerous frame drops, we can confidently state that the gaming experience was entirely playable, even though there were instances of slowdowns. One thing to admit is that when you start to taste the luxury of 60 frames per second, it becomes really complicated to go back and tolerate playing at 40 or 50 FPS. So inevitably, yes, yes, and again, yes. The Raspberry Pi 5 brings a huge additional gain in terms of gaming experience. You will be able to taste the true fluidity of 60 frames per second, and I promise you, it is even more noticeable than on most games. We can even afford the luxury of doing upscale to have truly stunning graphics and in addition, on other games, we can even afford the luxury of doing a 16-9 hack. Frankly, the gaming experience is greatly enhanced with the Raspberry Pi 5. That is to say, being able to use the black bars on the right and left to ultimately extend the vectors of certain games in order to have a full-size image on your 169 screens and all this without any slowdown, so honestly for us it's a big yes. I remind you once again that if you are a user of Recalbox, RGB Dual or RGB Jammer, you too will be able to take advantage of the additional power to of course enjoy this fluidity at 60 frames per second. However, I remind you once again that you will be even more privileged because with a display of only 240p, you will naturally require even less processing power from your Pi 4 and Pi 5. So it will be even smoother on your side. Here is this round of tests. Don't forget to follow us since we have done the Saturn, the Dreamcast, the Atomis Wave. We still have a lot of small videos in reserve. I'm thinking in particular of the Naomi, Naomi GD. We will take a look at the other 3D systems and we will continue to show you system by system what the Raspberry Pi 5 is capable of. Thank you for following us and see you soon for new videos.